Otis and the Puppy, written and illustrated by Lauren Long. It was springtime on the farm where their friendly little tractor named Otis lived. The flowers bloomed, the trees were filled with leaves, and the farm buzzed with the joy of a new season. There were fields to plow and crops to plant, and Otis was right in the middle of it all, working hard. Puff, puff, puffity chuff. When the workday was over, Otis, the little calf, and all their farm friends loved to play hide and seek. Otis loved to be it, counting one puff, two puff, three puffity, four chuff. And his friends ran to hide. When he reached 10, it was game on, and Otis motored here and there looking for his friends. He found the little calf hiding in a deep thicket of wildflowers. He found the ducks hiding in the mud pond. And he found the bull hiding in the haystack. Otis and the animals would play until the sun disappeared behind the trees, making sure to be home before darkness fell. One evening, the farmer gathered everyone up in front of the barn and gently placed a burlap sack on the ground. The sack began to wobble, tumble, and roll. It sat up, stretched to the sky, and went, What could be in there? Then out popped a little head. A puppy! The puppy shook his ears, raised his head to the sky, and yelped out another Then he burst out of the sack and romped around, greeting everyone with wet kisses. He wiggled from head to toe, and his spotted tail wiggled and wagged, wagged and wiggled. The farm animals smiled as they watched their happy new friend. And then, as quickly as he had jumped out of the sack, he wobbled over to Otis leaned on his tire, yawned, slouched, and plopped off to sleep. The farmer put an old doghouse in front of the barn, scooped up the sleepy puppy, placed him in his new home, and said, Good night, little pup. Otis, the little calf, and all the animals filed into the barn for a good night's sleep. Otis yawned and nestled into his stall. He was thrilled to have the little puppy on the farm, and he smiled as he drifted off to sleep. Puff, puff, puffity. All of a sudden, he awoke to a pitiful whimper. The whimper turned into a whine, and the whine turned into a yelp. It was the puppy. It was as dark as midnight. Otis took a deep breath, clicked on his headlights, and put it out to the doghouse where he found the puppy trembling with fear. He was afraid of the dark. With a chuff, Otis invited him into the barn where the puppy curled up and fell fast asleep. From that night on, the puppy would slink from his doghouse into the barn with Otis where he felt safe. And after a day of working on the farm, the two friends would play hide and seek with the others. One day, while it was Otis's turn to be it, he sat counting to ten while the others hid. One puff, two puff, three puffity, four chuff. But the puppy had something else on his mind. Otis finished counting, peeled out, and motored here and there. Puff, puff, puffity, chuff. Swerving and darting and skidding as fast as he could to find his friends. He found the little calf hiding behind an apple tree and the ducks hiding in a scraggly growth of honeysuckle, and he found the massive bull trying his best to hide behind a dandelion. But where was the puppy? Otis and the animals searched high and low. Even the farmer came to help, but they couldn't find the puppy anywhere. Finally, the farmer stopped the search. It's getting dark, he said. Let's continue the search in the morning light. By the time they reached the barn, it was already quite late, and all the animals went right to bed. But Otis couldn't sleep. His heart ached deep inside his engine. He knew how scared of the dark his new friend was, and he was worried that the puppy had wandered into the forest. 
he putted over to the barn door, looked out into the night, and sighed. Like the little puppy, Otis too was afraid of the dark, but he knew what he had to do. He clicked on his headlights and puffed out into the night. Just inside the forest, Otis stopped dead in his tracks. The sounds of the night crackled, thumped, and croaked all around him. His heart pounded as he shook like a leaf. Every part of him wanted to turn and run back to the farm, but he knew his friend needed him. So he closed his eyes and began to count. One, puff, two, puff, three, puffity, four. By the time he got to five, Otis felt a lot calmer. When he hit 10, it was game on. He peeled out and motored here and there. He swerved and darted and skidded and flashed his headlights everywhere in the dark night. He circled and crisscrossed the forest, making sure to see every possible place a puppy could hide. Finally, his light shined across an old hollow log with a little spotted tail poking out at one end. The puppy was whimpering softly, too scared to come out. But when he heard Otis, he squealed with joy. He wiggled and wagged and wiggled right out of that log. He squealed and cried and covered Otis's face with kisses. Then the two friends began to make their way home. They stood tall together as they passed through the dark forest. And somehow the night sounds no longer felt so frightening to them. On the farm, a warm, safe bed awaited them. Before long, a new day would arrive full of bright sunshine, work, and play. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you love this story about these two sweet friends. See you later.